did it? It was like a one word prayer. That's not bad, is it? It's the one word, Maranatha. It was also a greeting. When Christians met, would greet one another, they would say, Maranatha. It was also, we're told, maybe a little bit of a secret password. This is at a time when Christians are being persecuted by the Roman Empire. So if you're a Christian, you could be chucked in prison, you could be killed for your faith. So sometimes you're a little bit careful when you met people. And so, just to kind of make sure that were one of you, you'd say, Maranatha, and hopefully they would say Maranatha back. That's what we're told that happened. So why am I so excited by this word? What is so great about it? Well, the reason I'm so excited about this word is what it means. Remember our theme of the camera service is the king is coming. Well, this word Maranatha is made up of two words. And we are told by people who are much cleverer than me, but depending on how you split these two words, it can have two meanings. Meaning number one is, our Lord has come. So Maranatha, this one word in Aramaic, means our Lord has come. It's a declaration of what has happened. The King has come. Jesus, God's Son, has been born. He's come. But it also has a second meaning. Our Lord, come. It's a prayer, a declaration, looking forward and saying, Lord, come. So it's a, a, a word that looks back. He's come. But it's a word that looks forward. And scholars can't quite work out which is which. Is which. But I actually think both fit really, really well. So this evening, we are celebrating the that the fact that the king has come, and we're celebrating that the king is going to come back. Jesus, the angel said these words when Jesus went back to heaven. He said, this same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. So very, very quickly, the Lord has come. The king has come. The whole of the history of humanity really is looking forward to the coming of Jesus. Everything up to that time when Jesus came is a looking forward to that time. God had a rescue plan. You see, right in the beginning, man messed it up. Sin came into the world. Sin separates us from God. And sin just corrupts and messed up. You don't need me to tell you we live in a pretty messed up world. We live in a pretty messed up world. But God had a rescue plan. God had a plan that he would send, he would come himself 